Welcome back YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you the most effective quad workout possible in the shortest amount of time possible. I'm going to share with you a gym based routine but I'll also give you alternatives for if you're training at home or with minimal equipment available. So if this is your first time here, the general theme with these short on time workouts is efficiency. These workouts are designed to give you a maximal muscle stimulus, not to make you tired or chase a pump just for the sake of having a pump. It's really not that hard to make you feel like you're working hard or getting tired from a workout in a short period of time, but it's a whole different kettle of fish to make sure that the work that we do do in the workout is going to be contributing to the goal of muscle building. Even if you only have 10 minutes to train, these workouts will allow you to get an effective workout in. If you end up giving this workout a go, please do drop a comment below to let me know how you get on with it. So we're going to be using a pre-fatigue superset today and emphasizing different ranges of motion. So we're going to be emphasizing two different positions of flexion for the quads. In less geeky terms, what this means is we're going to be starting with an exercise that gets the quads into a peak contraction. Then we're going to finish with a more typical squat based movement that challenges the quads more through a mid-range contraction. The order makes a humongous difference when you're looking at maximizing efficiency. You want to go from the weakest exercise to the strongest to allow you to get more stimulation in your quads without having to rely on as much weight or time spent warming up as you might not have either of those things available to you. So to begin with, we're going to start with a set of 12 to 15 reps on the leg extension with a three second hold in the peak contraction. Aim to get close to a failure point, but do leave around maybe two to three reps in the tank on the first set. Now, leg extensions do get a really bad rap with people saying that they're really bad for your knees. But the truth is, this movement is really the only way you're able to train the quads, in particular, one of the quads called the rectus femoris, in its fully contracted position. If your knees do hurt during this exercise, I'd be looking at how you're setting up and performing the exercise. As simple as it may seem, there's actually a lot that people tend to get wrong with their setup and alignment of the exercise. The biggest one is not aligning their knee up with the pivot point of the machine, which puts a lot more stress through the joint unnecessarily. Another big mistake is rotating the legs into uncomfortable or awkward positions to try to hit different sections of the quads which, while it may be possible, is probably going to come at the expense of proper joint mechanics and is something that I try to avoid as much as possible. So don't skip the few seconds it takes to make sure that you're setting yourself up in a comfortable position before starting the exercise and making sure that you're keeping yourself as stable as possible throughout the entire movement. Of course, there are going to be some of you who have pre-existing conditions or injuries who still get pain here, in which case I'd say skip out on this exercise and go straight to the next portion of the workout. You'll still be able to get a pretty decent amount of stress on your quads without going through the leg extension. You also might want to play with this banded bodyweight variation of the leg extension. Due to the feet being placed on the ground or bench instead of floating through space, you'll be able to generate a little bit more stability around the knee joint, which may assist in things like pain. But again, don't train through pain. If something hurts, just move on. So once you're done here, you're going to go straight into a squat pattern of your choice. I prefer something supported like a leg press or a hack squat at this point due to the stability and how that will allow you to focus more work on the quads. But a free weight squat such as a barbell squat, a front squat, a, gobl a goblet squat or even uh, lunge variations or split squat variations would be completely suitable as well. Whatever you choose, try to use something that has your feet on a slightly inclined position so your heels are raised slightly. This will help you get deeper into the range of motion at the knee joint, which is so important for stretching out the quads after spending all the time in the leg extension training the quads in their contracted short position. Now, on whatever movement you've chosen, you're going to do one and one quarter reps, emphasizing the bottom position, where there is the maximum amount of stimulus being placed on the legs. And we're going to perform these short of the lockouts, again, to emphasize the stress placed upon the muscles. So to do this, you go all the way down, 
then a quarter of the way up, then all the way down again, then all the way back up, but just stopping short of a fully locked out position at the top. And that counts as one rep. With this technique, you won't need to use anywhere near as much weight whatsoever. So even if you do use something a little bit more unsupported, like a barbell squat or a front squat, you'll find you're able to get a lot more of a targeted stimulus in your quads and bring them closer to a failure point instead of other things like your lower back or technique fatiguing first. So here, you're going to hit sets of about eight to 10 reps with this one and one quarter um, technique. Aim to leave about four to five reps in the tank on the first round, and you'll find that by the final round that this weight will completely floor you. If you chose a single leg option, make sure you do switch the starting side on each round to balance out the fatigue you create a little bit more in the legs. So three sets here with around two to three minutes between sets is plenty to have you completely taxing your quads in all of about 10 to 15 minutes. So give it a shot and let me know how you go. And if you have any questions at all, please do drop them in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching this all the way through to help to skew that YouTube algorithm in my favor. And I'll see you all next time.